believe today starting at fullback is uh, Charlotte Booth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then uh, in on the uh, right wing is uh, Savannah Andrade. Andrade, yeah. Andrade, yeah. And uh, she's partnered in the centre by Jess Cortman. Yep. Amy Arcastle makes up the other centre. Yep. And then Charlene Inigan makes up the left wing. Yep. Into the standoff positions, you've got Claire Garner. And you've got Kirsty Maroney, who's the captain for today and playing at, uh, at Scrum Half. Up and deep into the Bradford half, they will still tack the f a far stand side. What can Bradford do here? Having to muscle up in defence strongly on that far stand side again. Featherston moved the ball quickly through hands. This will see a little chip kick over on the fifth and last. That will go. Has it gone dead? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think the referee. Oh, has... oh well, that's a bit of misfortune then for uh, for the Bradford Bulls women's team. The clouds have opened a little bit and uh, the rain's starting to come down. So uh, we're probably going to get a little bit wet. The kick goes over. That pushes the score to Bradford Bulls nil, Featherston Rovers six. We see the Bradford substitutes starting to warm up, ready for uh, uh, Mark Prescott to make his uh, couple of changes this afternoon. Play's continued then. Bradford edge closer to the line. Just inches short over on the... Uh, over on this side here as we play the play and the ball goes to Amy Arcastle. Amy Arcastle will touch down. What a fantastic try for Bradford. A well worked try there. Well, good understanding between obviously the play of the ball and the positional players. We say, you know, from this set from where you had where you needed to be to get the score. The contact is uh, exactly what you want both to give and I guess not to receive as much, but it just shows you the level that we're playing at. So Featherston then will now try and set something up to, uh, to further push their advantage on the scoreboard the ball quickly goes through hands a little gap there opens up in the line that will see the featherston fullback race away race fully there 25 meters and touches down to give featherston their second try of the afternoon liam farrell style look there i think <laughs> zoning in on that and that one goes through the sticks over the black dot to push featherston out to trying for everything that they've got to open this featherston defense on the uh, th second tackle now again the Bradford Bulls women's team sit just shy of the 10 metre line and uh, Featherston Rovers players slow to clear the ruck. Kirsten Maroney then feeds Savannah over on the... Uh, on the s s and I think we've got a try. Yeah, it was a great ball there by Kirsty to a uh, little bit of a face pass out to Savannah yeah. on the wing, which has resulted in that try there for young Savannah, only 17 years old and an absolutely phenomenal player. Amy Arcastle then, in again, picking up and taking on one, two, three Featherston tackles, still managing to go in, just four shy of the uh, of the 40 metre line. Bradford now asking questions of this Featherston defence as Charlotte. Oh, what a fantastic break! This is going to see a fantastic try. Score for Bradford underneath the black door. That Danica is. Superb. A great, great try there by, great break by Charlotte Booth there. Manages to push off the defence and uh, step the other ones and make a, a great line up the middle of the park and straight underneath the sticks. Going to practice these in the sleep, so let's hope so, yeah. There we go then. The kick is converted. So the restart's done then. And as uh, Danica says, Shauna Hall makes some great yardage there for the Bradford Bulls women's team. Bradford still pushing themselves forward here, just shy of their own 40 metre line on the uh, third tackle. That will see Bradford look again to ask a couple of questions of this Featherton defence. And the ball's still moving quite nicely through hands. And uh, this will be another fantastic try. Bradford cut loose. That's a great try. And again, well worked from the middle of the park on the 4 and 40 metre line, the Bradford Bulls women's team race away and touch down again. Danica, you've got to be pleased with oh, that. This is incredible. You know, that's John Hoyle's try then come off for a great support run. You know, um, uh, Lois took it in, supported really well by Beth. We don't let it get to our heads. Keep composed. We've still got a second half to play out. But yeah, let's just take this and uh, keep playing our game from now on. So the kick is converted then on the third tackle as Bradford will move the ball back into the centre park. The ball quickly goes through hands and Bradford now finding a few gaps and sit round about five metres short of the Featherston try line. They'll bring it back to this stand side. The gap opens up and that's a fantastic try for Bradford. My view was slightly obscured there, Danica. I'm not too sure who put that one down. But again, a bit of fast footwork, opened the line, and Bradford took the right option when, when Featherston thought they were going to go back towards the stick. Asking questions of this Featherston Rovers defence, 
foot. So far, Featherston managing to uh, muscle up. You can see Kirsty Maroney put the ball through hand. That's a fantastic move. Could this result in a try for Bradford? Still managing to keep going. Kirsty Maroney, I think she's going to be uh, held up just short of the line there, Danica. And uh, again, a nice set of play, and that will be Bradford score. What a fantastic little cheeky try! Do you know that was great? Crash ball. That was uh, Lauren Hickey then seeing the gap and running around and letting the uh, letting Kirsten know she was there. Then she's really deserved try there by Lauren Hickey, just breaking that defence. They uh, managed to find their way over the uh, 20 metre line of the Featherstone Rovers team, deep into the Featherstone half then putting the ball through hands and just getting himself set now, finding some runners, a nice steady settling set, should see Bradford able to post more points if they play the ball right and looking for the gaps and the gaps are appearing within the uh, Featherstone defence and that sees Kirsty Maroney go over for a try just right, as I said, we're yeah. talking about just right. <laughs> yeah, pretty perfect, Kirsty's worked really well today, you know, we're talking yeah. about Amy Hardcastle there. Jess Cortman, the centre. Yes, yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Is she, uh, is she, has she kicked before? Is it something that... Yeah, she kicked before uh, Gareth Oh, in. fantastic. Managing to pick out runners who seem to be uh, wanting to get through the workload here for this Bradford Bulls team. Another good forward, strong run, sees Bradford enter into the Featherstone Rovers half. They now sit 45 metres away from the Featherstone try line on the fifth and last tackle then. That's called by the referee. So Bradford now will go in search of more points and decide to run it on the last play. And that's a fantastic break from Amy Arcastle. That will see Amy Arcastle racing for a beautiful try. Again, we've seen some fantastic tries here today at this uh, Ewith Ground in the Challenge Cup final. Could this be two from two for the, uh, for the centre? as she uh, lines the ball up, strikes that sweetly, and that is another fantastic kick. Two from two then maintains uh, her 100% kicking record with great pride and passion and uh, power. Bit, yeah, and power. Be, uh... That's the, I was looking for the third <laughs> P there. And, uh... All that alliteration, yeah, let's get them all in. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So yeah, fantastic there. And uh, now Bradford up to the 40, uh, 40 metres out from the Featherstone Rollers try line. And again, we'll look to uh, post more points on this one. As we see Jess Cortman split the gap there. This will see Jess Cortman race away for a fantastic try. That is brilliant. And she deserves that as well, Danica. You've got to be happy with that. You're smiling here at the side of it. That and, was just uh, an incredible break there by Jess. You know, she saw the gap, great offload there, hit the ball on the line, went straight through, uh, dummied the fullback, brought her back inside and hit the, the, the ball under the post there, which is going to set up her uh, conversion really well there of the uh, Bradford Bulls women's team and everybody associated with the Bradford Bulls women's team so far can be really, really proud of. Her opposite Featherston number there. Yeah, great but drift defence there by Bradford to uh, stop that. But Featherston again will come again in search of a try to try and make the scoreline look a little bit more respectable in their favour. <laughs> but Bradford's defence remaining strong so far. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, a netball pass. Um, yeah. I call that one uh, Danica. Again, Featherston looking for runners, but there's actually nobody there to carry the play on. But they now manage to force the ball wide, but we'll see Featherston score. It looks like I'm not sure if the question whether Kayla was in touch there or not. She got tackled and it looks like he has given the try there. I would have said that she slid out just about, but who knows. She's wrapped up in the tackle as she tries to uh, force away towards the line. But Bradford again will still go hunting in numbers in search of another try. To, uh, to wrap up this one against his Featherstone Rovers team. Where can they go? A little cheeky pass there. Sees Kirsty Maroney. Now Kirsty will uh, will go and she has scored another little cheeky <laughs> scrum half strike. Know, yeah. She is so cheeky. I've got to admit, Danica, she just, you know, I'm really, really impressed with her. And again, as a scrum half, former scrum half myself, you know, she's got a little bit of cheek and I admire that. Well, she's our little pint sized player there, is our Kirsty Maroney. We when they've needed to, uh, if you like, put the foot on the throat for uh, want of a better yeah. usage, they've managed to do that, haven't they? And put yeah, the, absolutely. Uh, put yeah. the Featherstone Rovers team to the sword. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, obviously, good chat there when Featherstone scored their try to uh, talk about the kickoff and how it's going to be played. Well, that's uh, that's the conversion that's missed. Unfortunately, uh, Jess Cortman misses that one, but the final whistle goes. And that sees a massive invasion of Bradford Bulls players as they run onto this park. That is a fantastic 
fantastic win for the Bradford Bulls women's team, making history not only for themselves, but every single one of those players is now a history maker. Also, <laughs> yeah. making history for the Bradford Bulls club. Uh, it's steeped in history. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm nearly to tears here. Oh, I really am, Danica. Yeah. That is brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal. A fantastic display and a fantastic well worth win for the Bradford Bulls. I'm, I'm just bursting with pride and I think they've just played out, out of their skins there. You know, there was loads of individual performances, but as a team, they played great. I'm absolutely gutted to not be on the pitch with them, you know, and not to have been able to play any of that with them. But, uh, yeah, we've got the score, we've got the win, and uh, we're now uh, our first bit of silverware in the cabinet. Well, I know it doesn't mean much, but we always do on BCB give a, uh, a man of the match performance. I get, I'm going to say player of the match um, in this occasion. And uh, we always give that honour to our co-presenter, Danica. Um, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Um, but if you could certainly single out, I mean, to me, I would say the entire team today. I think every single one of them has stood up and been counted. Yeah, absolutely. There's loads of individual performances. You know, for me, like, I'm, I'm not sure if I could call it a player of the game, but you've got Lois, who's been set in the game. You've got Kirsten Maroney, who has just found so many little gaps. But then you've got the likes of Amy Hardcastle, Shona Hoyle and Jess Portman. We've all managed to finish off that, you know, that, that, that find the gaps and finish off the plays and uh, get, the, get the tries. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> try not to be so indecisive. I'm going to go, uh, my play of the game today is, is definitely going to be uh, Shona Hoyle, I think. And certainly, uh, you know, now we see the, uh, the your, your teammates, the Bradford Bulls women's team, go towards the mass ranks of the Bradford Bulls fans who have now got a bit of silverware to celebrate yeah, this that's season. <laughs> Oh, phenomenal. And do you know what? That crowd is incredible. Um, it's getting me a little bit emotional, if I'm honest with you. And, you know, to walk over there and just to have, you know, you know the, that real representation of people, like, cheering after you. And they, they were just as desperate as the girls wanted to get the win. And, oh, you know, it's... Um, the winner today is Women's Rugby League. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And do you know what? It's a great... To raise the profile of the game, to get such a crowd out, to get loads of support out here, and, you know, and, and, and have you guys here commentating on it, you know just makes it means it means so much more and a game is growing and growing and to have it the world cup played alongside the men it's just a great year and let's see it grow from strength to strength from now on well i think uh, i think one of your teammates has just been given the uh, the player of the game i don't know who it was while we were chatting i felt like <laughs> i had my back to play there but no doubt uh, that's something else to celebrate and bradford have been fully fully worth this victory i know we may sound a bit biased in our commentary and i mean i'm a i'm a bradford lad through and through and i love I love Bradford Bulls, I love anything to do with Rugby League in Bradford and again, you know, the women's team have shown that it is, it is something to be proud of and the game is growing and uh, now we will see the Bradford Bulls team go up to collect the, uh, their winning medals as the Bradford Bulls uh, mass ranks of fans uh, rightly uh, sing out loud and proud and wave the flags over on the, uh, on the far stand side. So again, the uh, the women picking up their winners' medals. Um, yeah, indeed. And uh, again, it's uh, it's great sight to see. It's an historic moment, as we've said. We can't, you know, we can't play that down. And uh, we wait for uh, all the players to uh, to get their medals. And then what we should see is the uh, is a trophy presented to the uh, the team captain. Does that be uh, Kirsty? And uh, you can't take anything. The trophy's lifted aloft. The players celebrate. The fans go crazy. And this is a scene to behold here at Ewarth. Congratulations to the Bradford Bulls women's team running out 50 points to 16 victors against the Featherstone Rovers team.